Hey guys, I'm just going to make a quick video going over how to export out your logo files correctly. So one thing you definitely should check with your logo before you turn it in is that you have both a black and white and a color version of your logo and that it's named properly. I'm using a student example here, um, Brittany, uh, but she's got this, um, you know, she's got her name in there, logo, and then BW, because this is a black and white version, um, dot AI. And if we look over here, she also has her color logo, which is, this isn't actually her color logo. I just did this, but, and it's named properly, her name, logo, and then CMYK. Um, the AI files are obviously very important. They are the editable native files out of Illustrator. So definitely you need these um, of both the black and white and the color version. Um, but I'm gonna show you, so you definitely need to turn these two in for a grade, but I'm gonna show you how to export out um, a JPEG of each of these files. So um, file, export, export as. <clears throat> and I'm actually just putting this in the downloads folder, but you would put this somewhere more significant, such as your documents folder on your, um, on your computer. So let's make this a JPEG. I asked for a JPEG. Um, so here it is. And let's go ahead and just say use artboards. Um, you don't necessarily need to do this, but if you have anything outside of your artboard, then you're going to need to check the use artboards uh, checkbox because that will ensure that only the stuff on your artboard is exporting into this JPEG file that we're making. Um, and then go ahead and push export. Leave the name the same. Um, so this is where it's important. You know, with the grayscale file, you can do CMYK or you can go to grayscale um, or black and white logo. You can make it grayscale. Um, and then, you know, if you make it CMYK, I'm not going to dock you, um, but you can also, grayscale is probably better for the black and white logo. But if you don't do that, it's not a huge deal. But the one thing that you really need to do with your JPEG is put it on high, um, 300 PPI resolution. The rest of this can stay the same. Um, this can be on maximum and then push OK. Um, so that can be the settings for the black and white JPEG. <clears throat> Let's do a file export, export as, and this is the CMYK. We're going to use artboards, make this a JPEG. Same process, except we're going to change it to CMYK for sure on this one, because this is the CMYK logo. And we definitely want this on 300 PPI. The rest of it can look like this. Um, and then go ahead and push OK. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot of this just quickly. You don't need to do this, obviously. Push OK. Um, and so now if we go into our folder, so if we go into the downloads folder um, more specifically, which you, hopefully you're going into your documents folder and you have, you know, a 231 project folder or class folder, and then inside of that, a logo design project folder. That would be the proper way to organize your files. But um, anyway, so in here we have the black and white logo, we have the CMYK, um, and we have, so we, and we have our, our other files. So we have, you know, an AI, and a JPEG of each of the color and black and white logos here. So four files total. Um, we want to make a new folder for this one particularly. Um, logo design project logo. You can have um, spaces in your in your folder name, not in your file names though. So inside of the folder, if we double click, these are the files that we would need. Um, and then let's do a zip on this. So I'm going to control click or right click on this and compress it on a Mac. Mm -hmm. On a PC, it's slightly different. I think you have to right click on the folder. Um, I have it in Brightspace um, on how to do that. You might have to Google that for a Mac, um, for a Windows machine. Um, but this is the zip file that I want um, for grade in Brightspace by the due date. Um, so you'll have to upload that into here. And I even go over the file names in here. But anyway, that's basically how to do that. Talk to you later.